Baker makes his way into the LFC ring, coming out of Semtex Gym in South London. Shout out to Steve Semtex and all of the crew there. These guys, Dean, have a real reputation for making a statement with dynamite kickboxing, high-level Muay Thai strikers, and exciting to see them fighting for a K1 title tonight. Stands out from the Semtex Gym is always the power, the ability to finish wherever the fight is. Hooks, kicks, straight punches down the line, they've got them all in their tool bag. And the Semtex team has definitely been a force to reckon with. I really think at this point tonight, he's gonna wanna make his opponent and Anthony Kaniki taste that power early because we know that Kaniki can go the distance team. What does is, what is Nick, Nick need to do to be able to make sure he can implement that right on time? Use his footwork laterally, not forward and backwards. He needs to make sure that his Opponent's chasing him, he's cutting him off. Well, here we go. He's going through the final preparations right now. Nick Baker from the Semtex Gym. A true Muay Thai stylist is in the building tonight. comes the Nam Yang team with Anthony Kaniki, a guy who really won the crowd over last time with a performance team and pushing the pace. Look at this walkout. The Dragon leading the way. Kaniki surely not far behind. The traditional Chinese martial arts, Kung Fu was his original background, Chris. Anthony likes to, he likes to be called Anthony Nam Yang Warrior. I love Anthony Kaniki. He was in one of the wildest fights we've seen in a long time in LFC last time around. Dug deep and walked away with a standing ovation from the crowd when he won the decision. So, you know, we know he can push the pace. We know he's got the cardio in the bucket. Nick Baker is going to have to go out there and try to land big power early. Flip the, flip the coin, though. Talk us through what Kaniki brings to the table and being able to really set a pace and run rings around his opponents. Due to his stylistic background, he's got all the things in his toolbox he needs. He's very tenacious, he's very athletic, Chris. I think that's gonna play a major part of this fight. Mobility, accuracy, heart, grit, determination. Kaniki definitely has a lot of that to show off to the crowd. He looks in excellent shape. Had a really good full training camp for this fight. Anthony Kaniki, ladies and gentlemen. And a great show of respect, the fans behind us on their feet. We'll take it back to Malcolm Martin to make this K1 title bout official. And your fighters in the cage. In the red corner, he's 34 years of age, with a record of 30 wins and only 6 losses, for representing the Semtex Gym, The man known as Spandex rocking the cargo pants tonight in charge of this K1 title bout. It's out of the red corner in the Semtex gym. Nick Baker taking on the champ, Anthony Kaniki. Nam Yang Warriors represent. Anthony looking the leaner fighter out of the two, Chris. More muscle packed onto that frame. 
Kaniki was walking out southpaw, then goes back to orthodox. I love his style. He's all action. And again, pouring on the pace. Baker got clipped. Baker went to Gal there, turned his back. That's a no-no in the fight game here. Kaniki relentless one gets clipped in the left hook there. Baker flies forward on the right cross. Both men have tagged each other, Dean. Both have tasted the power. They are toe-to-toe -to -toe in this K1 action here at the LFC. Nick charging forward with that lead hand. Clenching a break. The only pause in the action we've had thus far. Baker switches up, back to orthodox. Swings with the left hook and misses all the way from left field. Nice check by there. Anthony's doing a good job of checking and teeping away Nick so he can't sedimate down in this power. Hey, nice kick there by Nick. Eats him by hand for his troubles. And Baker trying to get behind the jab, ducks his head, but gotta watch out for those knees of Kaniki. The right hand clips him, Dean. Kaniki's able to fire off there. All the power. Kaniki searching for the finish, but Got to be careful not to punch yourself out against the KO artist in Baker. Nice uppercut. Right left hook there from Nick. Like to see him switch up these strikes a bit more. He's been a bit reckless initially. Both fighters have. Like to see a bit more technique. Nice right hand there. But this is exciting as it gets Dean. A real clash unfolding. Big inside leg kick for Baker. That definitely buckled Kaniki. I think that hurt Kaniki that left leg kick there. Nice knee. Baker grins and opens his mouth. Kaniki says, let's go. Oh, huge haymaker from Baker. Softball pitch of a throw. Kaniki runs back at him. Kaniki uh, breathing heavy here, Chris. I cannot believe this round. What a round. Both fighters definitely landing. Both fighters exhibiting Dean. A brave performance indeed. Fearless performance. Exceptional action here in the LFC. The door will be closed and round two will ensue. Here we go. Touch of gloves, both guys. A little bit more cerebral. Nice kick there by. Anthony, Kaniki leaping into that right round kick. The sweat flies off. So intense. Both fighters still very nice eager. Left hook. left hook there by Nick. He's leading with that quite nicely. It's caught Kaniki a few times. Big oh. hook for Nick Baker. Kaniki then swarms back on him. Right cross for Kaniki. Nick Baker, redness on the right side of his face there. Oi! Nice right hand. Left hook, right hands are the fruit of the day for Nick Baker here. But Kaniki works forward. Really overextending on those shots, team. He's got to watch out for the check hook. He's leaving his chin out there as well, and if you notice, he's breathing quite heavily, and usually that is an open of the mouth, and it's easier to get knocked out when the mouth is open, Chris. Unbelievable. Both men steaming here in center ring. And it's definitely boiling over in this round, Dean. Kaniki pulls up his hands for a good guard. Coming in there, breathing heavy. Both fighters waiting for the ample opportunity. Nice jab to the face and to the body by Nick. I love how he doubled up to that going downstairs and then up. But Kaniki then comes back. Watch for Baker to counter here. Kaniki clinches for that left hook of Nick. Nice stiff jab there. Both men standing, trading. It's been standing bang non-stop. Double jab there, jabbing at the same time. The, Oi, Sem the Semtex team believe they've got Kaniki in a bad spot, but the round is about to end, Dean. Nice kick there by Kaniki. Oi. Unfortunate strike after the bell there, didn't mean to. Wow. As promised, an absolute brawl.
here we go. Chris Hookster calling it with Dean Midhat. Another title fight. Another Lion Fighting Championship. Kaniki with the front leg side kick. Doesn't quite find its mark. Nice check from Nick. Countered with a switch up, then going left. Kick to the body. Charges forward. Believes he has his man hurt, Dean. Nice one, too. There's a success throughout this fight and thus far. However, he doesn't need to be charging in like that. He needs to pick his punches a bit more carefully, does Nick. Nice right hand there by Nick. Got Kaniki off balance. Vicious punches landed by these two men. Long jab for Nick. Got to use that jab. Man. This has been one of the greatest nights of fighting I've seen in a long time. Every fighter clearly watching the previous and seems to be just upping the ante and Nick Baker and Anthony Kaniki are not disappointing. Kaniki takes a big punch there. Kiss still coming in, pushing his opponent and Nick back to the cage and firing off from the outside. A lesser fighter would have spit out the mouth guard to buy some time to recover. Kaniki, even with the boxing gloves on, pushes his mouthpiece back and then catches Nick with a couple shots. Nick returns fire. Both fighters countering in due course, throwing caution to the wind. Nick here on the outside, looking for that jab, nice. Leg kick of Kaniki, nice body kick there, straight, one, two, straight down the pipe from Nick. He's had success for that thus far. I'd like to see him tie a kick on the end of that. Both fighters clearly fighting their hearts out in front of us here at the LFC. Just over 10 seconds to go. Big punch there from Nick. Oh, Kaniki landed two shots of his own. Nick circled out. He could be hurt there. I would hate to be a judge right now, Dean. Wow, I mean, two of these guys, they come out and they absolutely throw everything down in this cage, leaving nothing to question. Kaniki raising his hands there. And both believe they've done enough, Dean. Both believe they've left it all in the ring. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Goes around the waist of the man from the red. 